Hello guys and welcome to Crusader Kings 3, a game of thrones. But as you can see, we are going to be playing as the Manus himself, Stannis Baratheon, brother to King Robert of the Iron Throne. We are indeed doing a crowned stag playthrough just because the war is so absolutely screwed and the AI is terrible. Uh, I originally considered doing a Rhaegar series, but I really like the idea of a Stannis series. Uh, both, both in this and CK2. I'm still considering doing possibly either a Rob Stark or a uh, before fighting Renly uh, Stannis sort of playthrough. I think either of those could be really, 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 really fun. Uh, playthroughs but i wanted to see what stannis is like in ck3 and if we can turn this sort of half blessing half curse of being given dragonstone rather than stormlands into a bit of a blessing because these are very good provinces if we can siege them and take them ourselves is that very honorful not completely but while we are just we are also cynical and stubborn and if we see a bastard born on the Iron Throne. Who says we won't push our claim? Because that's what I want to do here. I want to tell the story and play the game at the same time. And I think Stannis has a lot of potential for that. So let first, let us, we don't need to petition a liege, nor do we need a tournament. Uh, we do want to decide our religion patron aspects. And I'm thinking... Hmm... I mean, with with Stannis, I've always believed that I, I I'll obviously eventually we may switch for law. So I'm not sure yet. But while we are still loyal, I think we are probably a little more possibly the crone or the warrior. Because the thing with the father is we are absolutely do not have a popular opinion as Stannis. One of the main things about Stannis is not everyone loves him. So I'll go for the warrior for now. No need for a grand tour, and martial wise we are going to go for... Goodness me, these are all incredible. We're going to go for a chivalry focus, because he's already an incredible commander. Uh, we do not start married. So I actually want to see if the real marriage option he takes is open right now. I can't remember. I believe it should be. Is it the? Or is it his? I don't believe it's Lady Melissa. Is it? It's Lady Laness, I think. Unless I can't. I genuinely. I well, no, because yeah, Lady Melissa is Randall Tarley's wife. There we go. So that answers that. So it seems like we may be able to take a different path with this marriage. So what are we looking at? We have the phrase. We have a Dondarian. A Bracken. And the Blackwood. The Blackwood is, seems a very capable woman. Hmm. None of sort of local or, or very large house. I guess the closest to his old house would be the Grand Views in the Stormlands. Um, what are we looking at here? Apologies if I uh, can't force these at any point. I, uh, I thought I was getting better. I'm not getting better. I'm getting probably a little bit worse right now but you have to get worse to get better right i hope um the wentz could be interesting so i don't know uh stannis isn't didn't seem like one for the tourney at harrenhal he was probably there from what i understand but he's not much of a tawny man because he actually marries a uh, florent if i remember right he marries uh, not Raylene. I think maybe it's it's relative. I don't know yet. Or maybe I'm just stupid and I've completely forgotten the Stannis law, which is also a possibility because my law is weirdly more um, pre-War of Five Kings than it is in the War of Five Kings. But I know a decent bit about the War of Five Kings too. The phrase also makes sense, but the phrase of the phrase. I kind of like this Blackwood, but the whole thing with her being an old god... You know, maybe we can convert her. She's diligent, she's fickle, and she's content. Kind of makes sense, right? Kind of makes sense for for Stannis. Well, we will go with this one, I think. 
go with this marriage. I can create an accolade. Uh, well, in, uh, do we need to invite knights or do we have enough knights? What are our knights looking like? We should actually be fine with knights. Uh, I can make you into an accolade. Yeah, you could be an accolade. Why not? And uh, no negotiate alliances. Let's see. Let's get one with Rob and with Renly. As it makes sense, we would have. I can't remember what relation we have to. Oh, he's my grandfather, yes. Well, uh, well, very weird grandfather, but yes, Kasana is the mother. Yeah, let's go on with our grandfather, too. We'll close these out. What wars can I even declare? Why can I declare on the Riverlands? Oh, for a tiny claim. There's always these one random tiny claimants you have for no reason in your lands. So yes, the current Lord of Valerian is Monfort. To the pick of I would gladly accept your marriage proposal. And we've read me too. So Monfort isn't incredibly strong. He's, you know, he's a decent power within this region. Let's build up... I don't think we'll need supply a limit because it is an island. Let's build up some apiaries then. So we currently only have this one title. We could get more. Tywin is having a hunt. I don't I don't think I'd cross the entire Seven Kingdoms <laughs> to get there. Especially now that travel time is a real thing. Like how long would it even take to get there? It would take me four months. No. <laughs> I'll go to Tywin on more important matters, but not on a, a hunt. So let's look at our council. I mean, it looks like a pretty decent starting council. Uh, is there any... No, nah, that's basically the best we have in each position. Well, the brass here doesn't seem very good at anything. Let's replace him with Crescent. And let's oversee the realm. I could even get four um, domain holdings if I want if I manage domain. Mike, you have to keep that in mind. Because the more uh, titles we directly own, the more money and power we have in this game. How are things going with Robert and uh, Cersei? Not pregnant yet. Tywin does not like Robert. Well, she she hates Robert. Peter Baelish is having a uh, a grand tournament. Uh, where did he find the money for that grand tournament? That's my question. It's only si uh, though there is another castle holding here, so I could try and reclaim this, right? She must tell me. She must tell me. She must tell me. Yeah, a little more uh, money for us. Is that going to give me... Yeah, it gave me 18 stress multiple times. <sighs> this game sometimes. Don't you love it? <laughs> wow. Why would I need to change control? Oh, over here. Uh, it's a vassal lance. I don't especially care to change it. We're going to increase development. In Dragonstone. An inspired person can be sponsored. As I pace towards my throne, I have in my knight proclaiming something to my wife. Get away from him, you harlot. So much you pick to the dungeon with you. Or if if they're sleeping together, I allow it to continue. Get away from him. So he wants 50 to forge something and wondrous. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Regalia, an exquisite goblet or an ornate aquamine for ritual cleansing. Let's make some regalia, please. That's what we we want more than anything else right now. <laughs> is regalia. 
There we go, and our court grand just increased a little bit. I don't want to uh, actually increase it, so to speak, uh, in terms of using the, you know, the royal court functions just yet, because those can get very, 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 very expensive. Like, if I were to take a look right now at our court grandeur, right now it costs us 0.41 a month, but it could cost us 3.3 a month, which is basically all of our money. We, I guess we'll increase it a little bit. We don't need to go all the way to five on all of them. I'm fine with doing that. Because it does give us some actual bonuses. And uh, we do have an artifact. I assume it's the... Yes, it's the Baratheon Wall Banner, which we can put behind us. Wonderful. If you look at that, we are... Off to a good start. I uh, don't need to hold court. Every time you hold court, you end up with some stupid decision that costs you for no reason. Let's have two accolades. Why not? We can have two accolades, right? We're cool. Oh, and we could station men at arms. We only have one men at arms, though, so. Guess we'll station them at Ian at Dragonstone. Hmm. To the Great Hall! Okay, so I have basically no chance of that one working, unfortunately. We'll have to go with that one. I, I, I never trust myself to get, like, the 10-15% the ones. Goodness me, how are you wounded, Robert? Oh, and he's spending all of his money. Well, drunk could make sense, though. He's wounded, though. What, what gave him wounded? Am I able to look at his memories? No, I can't see what made him injured. What is this? You want to be able to revoke my titles, Robert? What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Literally. I'm your brother, man. You better not be trying to take my titles. And we have a son. Wow. Two sons. We're already better than the real Stannis. <laughs> Stefan is a Baratheon name I really love. I don't want to name a kid after me. That's a bit too far, I think. We're not going to name one Aegon either. Uh, Edwin and Stefan. I actually like that. Edwin Baratheon and Stefan Baratheon. Oh, Edwin has a very interesting hair colour. Baratheons are known for um, having brown hair. But considering one has brown hair, maybe... Who knows what's going on? Who knows? <laughs> I don't need to petition Robert on anything, right? No, we're fine. Forget, it's just going to keep showing up unless I turn it off in here. I forgot. I don't want to disallow petitioners, though. I will just... Um, Let's hold court. Oh, no, right. It's a specific separate thing, so I can't actually turn it off. That's fun. <laughs> I love constant pop-ups. My ADHD brain totally doesn't go insane every time I see them. So the culture in both is High Valyrian. Can we do something about that? Because 47 years. And then here? Yeah, it's going to take 47 years. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen, but I guess... No, I think the taxes are probably better for us, because we're just that's just not going to happen. You want a feast? No. I'm not wasting money. And Sir Andrew Estamont has finished his education. A tyranny modifier and attractiveness modifier. I want a dynasty modifier, please. The Baratheon name is uh, truly famous now. Our dynasty is worthy of praise. You can scrape the barrel, which we have a random lowborn to fill the court position. Well, or you could take a vow of poverty. Don't need that. Or requesting a loan. I mean, they're alone. There's so much less options than they're on CK2. Let's see, what am I going to do with the Valerians? Because they are probably never going to be loyal to me because I'm not a Valerian. But I can't revoke it. What if I... I can modify their contract, right? Oh, nice. So if I remove their protected title revocation, but I give them... Uh... Less feudal taxes? What does that increase it by? Minus three, or this is 
500 troops. Let's go for that. At least I can now revoke their titles if I wish. Of course, they would not accept, though. It's a problem. Muratraj and I were just arrived in Dragonstone after wearying travel. There are important matters regarding the welfare of Driftmark that I must discuss with you. Well, Mumford is at last shown to my great hall, and I wasted time before walking up to my throne and bowing deeply. Thank you for seeing my Malich. I come to, I am beset by a Liberty faction. You must put them in their place. Hmm. My favours are best not forgotten. And now I have a hook on you. So I could... Okay, he's only 21%. Damn it! I hope the hook would be like 50-60%. That's a problem. I can retract his vassal. Does he... Yeah, he has multiple vassals, right? He has these vassals. Interesting. Hmm. Not going to be able to afford that for a little while. Robert has had his... F He's had Prince Joffrey, and Prince Joffrey is very noticeable in his ha hair colour. I think that is definitely going to be... Uh, that's definitely going to be something worth note, isn't it? <laughs> Definitely going to keep our eye on Joffrey's development. Renly is still growing. Though he somehow got wounded as a child. So that's not good. A uh, decent prowess. You can join my court. See, so it would make most sense for me to claim to own these two. And these two as like my main provinces if I do go for four but am I one to, to guilt trip and you know I, I'm a man of duty and I want to use that duty against House Driftmark or House of Valerian I don't know what has happened to all of the uh, women's heads or hairs I assume that's a mod thing and if so, I apologise. Oops. Oopsie daisies. I've made bold women in the Valerian household. <laughs> Robert's Grand Tournament. We actually will go to this, I think. Give us some experience, Captains. Uh, yes, perfect. You will do fine. Let's go. As you are attending a Grand Tournament, every available unlanded captain you have will accompany you to compete. Fair enough. Makes sense. Uh, Stalwart leader, please. We have arrived at the tourney, and first up is the horse rights. Hmm. I have a bet to place. There must be a way to get by horse in that race. Hmm. I could sneak in, surely. I vowed to myself I would win a contest this tournament, and I can't help but consider a less fair approach to securing the prize of the horse race tournament. I'm sure my opponents would do the same if they only had the idea. Who knows? Maybe I already have. I mean, the thing is that it does um, have a little bit of... Or at least it makes sense that um, I have a bit of... You know, I lose stress from doing this because I'm callous and stuff. So everything will give me stress because I'm also just. So do I want to... Mm. I don't know. It's 30% I get disqualified. We're not going to cheat there. I don't want to take that chance. Let's equip our regalia. So it gives us prestige, spouse opinion, and dynasty opinion. Pretty good. So what does our wife think of us? She's cool with us. Good news, my wife doesn't hate me. I don't remember, can't remember which one's been winning, which one's been losing. Okay, I didn't win. 
Okay, I'm not yet qualifying for archery, but I believe that's because I have to do events here to qualify. So let's see. Uh, we'll spend time at the turning grounds. Yes. Oh, and it even decreases some stress. Wonderful. I'm now on course to qualify. So you have your progress to victory here. We might actually go again, if I can. Hmm. Watch our opponents learn their weaknesses. Gastellus may not be a tawny kind of guy, but, you know, I think he need, he's Robert's brother. He'd be expected to appear. Ooh, an incredible first round display by young Stannis Baratheon. I watched the practice eye as Raymond begins to approach towards his targets. The first shot flies and thuds home. The second was more wayward, much more wayward. And it hit... Hmm. He'll decrease their score. And it will... I don't especially care for them. It's not my concern. <laughs> like, let's be real here. Ooh. Oh, this is the fun. I'm going to go with Iron Woman with my bow. I'm going to trust in the 60%. One last knock. Oh, damn it. Who won? Now we must finish second then. No, we finished not even in the top three. Damn. That's unfortunate. Head to the Tony Rounds again. Because we need to qualify. Wrestling is a very interesting one. Oh, did my grandfather die? Yes, sadly so. We can win the melee. I don't need Dread either. We'll just... We'll just dominate the melee, surely. I mean, Robert's probably competing in the melee. Like, he... You know, Robert calls these tournaments for himself, basically. Glory will be ours. Oh, because of our rank and experience. Me and Master Hellman are the team captains. Okay. I do wonder why uh, the faces are so zoomed in here. <laughs> kind of makes sense, I guess. I can ambush him or face him in honourable combat. Hmm. I mean... Let's ambush him. Why not? Like, <laughs> we do what we can to win. Exhausted, I stagger to the comforts of a refuge. All around me are competitors from all sides. I spy a few of my teammates restoring themselves. They greet me wearily as I stump, slump beside them, weary and aching. Watching from my shady position, I can see a resourceful Marcusella readying some hastily assembled food and drink to sell to the shattered Phytons. Ooh, 50 gold for this is a lot. Let's leave them to it. 50 is a lot of money. Another metalsmith. Very well. I will win a soldier's victory. Oh, come on. How can I pick any option but going for a soldier's victory? Come on. One more push. Being part of the crowd as a sporting event can be a real treat. The atmosphere is... One such downside is just materials. I found myself struck behind a large frame of Selwyn. Why, why am I watching? Am I not... Am I, <laughs> am I not um in the fight? Oh my, is that a victory for our uh, team in the melee? Yes! The battle is over. We have won! <laughs> now we have a recital. What, for singing? A poetry competition? What's my learning like? Terrible. We're not going to bother qualifying for this one, I think. So what else can we do? 
Uh, get new clothes, or let's let's go visit the other Sun Quarter. I think Sotic Crest. Hmm. I want the Baratheon Quest, of course. I want fine visitry of my house. You have no interest in doing a poetry recital. We'll come back for the deals. <laughs> My regent unsuccessfully tried to take my money. What's my what? Here's what I don't get right with these regent mechanics is I think they've just kind of fucked them because even people who would be loyal regents constantly try to steal from you. Like it doesn't make a lot of sense why my wife would would uh, try this. I know maybe it's just me, but I really don't like a lot of the regents mechanics added. I mean, it makes sense to have more regency stuff and possibly have regents, you know, try and take over with the power and stuff. But just by going off for a grand conquest, my wife is trying to steal my soldiers? What she's going to do with them? She doesn't have land. <laughs> like... I don't know. Let's see. So now we have the melee. Hmm... Disgusting. Okay, we're not currently qualifying. But we got our, our prestige up a bit. I mean, already winning winning one fight at this, uh, winning the melee as the leading captain is surely enough of a, a big bolster on Stannis to sort of uh, legitimacy. Uh, just look how good he is at foot and horse. Like, he's incredible. I love how you can murder someone up there, Tony. I do like that. Uh, Tony Grant again. There we go. And we can get enough to get in the duels. I am ready. I should concentrate on the fight. <laughs> hmm. I must remember my training. I must remember what my masters have taught me. We've won our first round. Four contestants remain and we are one of them. And now we're fighting Lord Dennis, the Lord Dice of the Shadow Tower. A member of the Night's Watch we're fighting, actually. Okay. I remember my training. Are we lost? Ah, damn. And my wife is, is pregnant. Okay. I was not at Dragonstone. So we, we got to ask some real questions about how she is uh, pregnant here. And the winner of the duel is... Is it the Lord Commander? I don't think he's the Lord Commander. I think it was just a... Uh... Yeah, Lord Dennis wins. I guess losing to him doesn't look that bad on me then. But, you know, still. Always next time. And then there's a ceremony, which we will attend as victors. What an occasion. It's a shame we couldn't get uh, the prize armor. Uh, the prize armor is so good. But obviously it's going to go to Lord Dennis because he did win. Oh well. I do get the prize bowl though. Well hey. We can put that in our court. A mighty victory for us. And we shall finish the grand tournament and head home. Let's see. I can reduce the cost of, in of loyal subjects. Um, yeah. Why not? I don't know if I'll ever do it, but it's useful to have a modifier on it, if it ever does. I've noticed that Patchface avoids me more than usual. He always sits at the opposite end of the table whenever we're invited to a feast, and he consistently refuses my company while camping. I'm going to scold Patchface, who also would never say that because he's Patchface. Like, the dude is not massively intelligent here. It's also interesting that Patchface is, uh, that they do give Patchface the Drowned God. <laughs> 17 prowess isn't bad for Patchface. I don't remember anything about him being a great warrior or anything. <laughs> they don't put that one in the stories. Uh, I can't really... Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of tyranny, but I literally don't... I don't want to spend money. <laughs> Oh, we've, we've, we've won um, uh, the uh, melee. 
as a leading team captain. Got ourselves a prize bowl. Didn't get the armor. That was my, my main hope was for the armor. But I'm sure Robert likes us a bit more now. Yeah. And of course he's rakish. He's very quickly becoming actually Robert. Including the severely injured apparently. And now he's had Edric Storm. Bloody hell Robert. Calm down lad. Can't go a day without it. Can he? God, now Tywin's doing one. Again, I'm not going to travel half the world for Tywin. Although, Tywin, you're a lovely fella, I'm sure. Hmm. <laughs> How much money, more money does this give me? It's literally a difference of one, right? Yeah, it's not worth it. <laughs> Though, considering I'm actually using the stewardship, this one is better. Because it gives some troops as well. And we have a daughter. I'm going to come up with a really unique name for them. <laughs> well, we've... Uh... Ooh, a goblet. How lovely. Something else for our royal court to go opposite our prize bowl. Already our court is looking magnificent. And uh, with that, I'm going to call it here for our first episode. Uh, thank you guys so much and I hope that you have enjoyed and uh, the story of Stannis shall only grow from here who knows will he try and take the lordship of Driftmark will he try and uh, secure some lands and now that we uh, may have our suspicions about the heir to the Iron Throne there is quite a lot that, that could happen and of course we'll keep our eye on Renly as well thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you've enjoyed and if you have, uh, please do leave a comment. Please do let me know. Uh, uh, apologies I've, uh, that I've been sick and that the videos have been stopped for a little bit. But I'm so glad to be able to, to bring these back for you. And I hope that you guys keep your eye out for the new CK2 series coming soon. Uh, thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys all pretty soon. Bye-bye.